the GDP of Tanzania in 2015 was 47 billion. And in 2015, our GDP was over 80 billion. That's true. We have now stagnated at between 100 and 110. No, we are at 110.4 billion. Just, just a moment. Tanzania's GDP is projected at 120 billion by 2027, which is only five years down the line. Projection. Projection based on the current, based on the on the on the current on, on the growth. Trend, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 2015, which is only seven years ago, they were at 47. Today they are at 80. And where, where were we? When we, they were at 40? Uh, when they were at 40, we were about 80 something. Actually, 80. closer to 90. So now they're they still are, within. They are now 64. We are 110. So no, no, they are seven. They are 80, 70, almost 80, 77 something. Right now. Right now. No, they are 64. Just a moment. Check Google. it. Check right. it. Check it. Check it. <laughs> if you want, you can Google and find out right now, no, and I'll show you. Let me just show you right now. Uh, let me just show you. You can Google and see how it is. Yeah. What is this? 64.4 billion. 76.58, 2022. That's Tanzania's GDP. But yeah. where do you get that? This is, this is straight there. It's, it's, the facts are there. And I okay. know it because I was in Tanzania just the other day. Yes. I was in Tanzania, my friend representing the Honorable speaker. Malim, the, point <laughs> the point I'm trying to tell you is that today, if you go to Namanga, yeah. if you go to Namanga, mm. there are more trucks coming and bringing goods to Kenya okay. than are going out of Tanzania. That's a fact. Kenya going to Tanzania. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. That was not the case some five years back, by the way. Okay. It was reverse. Okay. Now it's we are less than thirty. Our, our trading balance right now is we are over seventy percent. We are less than thirty okay. percent. Mm. Progressively. All right. Progressively. When you go to Uganda right now, there are more coming from Uganda to, than coming. They've come leaving us and going to Uganda. Okay. There's more goods leaving this country and going to Uganda as opposed to the goods that are coming that from are Uganda coming, coming to this country. All right. You, you see, the economic development is about how much you sell. Yeah. And how much you, you, you earn in forms of foreign exchange. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. The, 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 this is already gone. My friend, the way things are right now, yeah. and I was warning these things five years back when the Tanzanian economy was at less than four, 50 billion, and now it's 80 billion. Okay. Now, the point I'm trying to tell you is that, you know, when you bury your head in there, yeah. when I told them last time, I told our own technocrats, people in Kere, and, and particularly the customs, and I told them, don't destroy Mombasa support. They say, oh, even if they go to Tanga yeah. and Tanzania because our services are more superior, they'll come back to us. That is history, my friend. Okay. I was in Dar es Salaam port myself. These guys have built six additional ports okay. without borrowing from outside. All right. They chased, you know, Magufuli came, canceled what they call it, the, 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 the contract with the, with, the, with the Chinese who were asking for whatever the kind of contracts they have with us. And, and say we're going to use our own money. He used his own money for infrastructure, and for the SGR, okay. or what do you call the ports and the rest of it. So right. what I'm trying to tell you, yeah. we had only services, Ledama. Mm. We only supplied services to the region. Okay. And we had a pseudo-democracy that was not there in the rest of the country. Now everybody has a kind of a pseudo-democracy like us. Okay. You, you know what I mean? It's not a perfect democracy, All right. but it's there. Other than that, we yeah. will, if we don't, if we don't, let me just finish these things. Yeah. If we Very begin burying our hands, continue burying our hands and basking in that thing and saying that we are the best in the region, yes. my friend, it's not going to take another four years or, four, or three years before we are going to be overtaken by other countries that are coming up very fast. 